I've been using knee pads with my saddle this year. I don't like them. So a lot of people have told me to try to make one of these pads for against the tree. And I went to Walmart today and bought this sportsman's cushion thermoseat. It was like $8. I'm gonna turn this into a, a pad for, for the tree. Let me show you how I'm gonna do it. Before we get started on this project, I gotta update you on two things about what's been going on lately. Yesterday, there was no vlog because I went and hunted Ohio all day. I didn't see a single deer. I was gonna make a video today about yesterday's hunt, but yeah, I just was, there was some good stuff as far as scouting and whatnot, but I felt like it was too boring to show you. Just know that I went there, drove three and a half hours, scouted around, sat in the tree, saw no deer, heard one walking through the thicket at a, like 70 yards, could never make it out, got down and drove home. Two, some people were asking about my European mount. So I, this is my Indiana buck I shot and I had it all boiled out and it was looking really good. I laid it outside to like dry out and kind of get the smell out of it. Got up next morning, the thing was gone. Went on a search for it and the neighbor dog had actually taken it in the middle of the night sometime and chewed the nose off of it. So that's what happened to that. That's kind of why there was no conclusion to that video about whenever I was I was boiling this out, but it is what it is. So there's my old seven pointer from Indiana with the chewed off nose. I want to do something with this. I may like cut the skull cap off right here in this area and then like mount it on something. I'm not real worried about it to be honest with you. I'm just thankful I found it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking for this pad. I'm gonna do away, actually, how long is this strap? Yeah, I'm doing away with this strap, it's too short. And I kinda like the idea of stealing something from Brian with his um, brackets that he has. So he sells, and I'm not gonna be able to find one. Aha, here it is. So my idea with this is to use one of these good mobile sit uh, paracord things. And this is from Brian, a good, good, good sit, good sit mobile. I'm sorry, Brian. Um, but the, these are typically used for these brackets that you've heard me probably talk to exhaustion about. Um, but I'm thinking about running this through this pad and then using this to go around the tree. I think that would work really good actually. That would go around the tree and then connect into this little, the little G, I call it the G connector. And I can pull this tight and then I'd have a pad. I'd have like a proper, yeah, I think that'll work good. I may make, I may take this Prusik off of here and just make this a little bit bigger. Cause I don't know if that's, I mean, that's pretty big of a loop, but I feel like I could just go ahead and make it bigger and it'd be fine and dandy too. I got some 550 cord. Oh, it's right here, right in front of me. So I don't know how long it should be. That's probably long enough. I also got to pay attention to the time because I got a dentist appointment. They filled my teeth a couple weeks ago and golly dude, it still hurts so bad. I've got, been getting like bad headaches from it and something's not right with it. So I got to go back and get it checked. Not really looking forward to it. it sucks. Okay. Now the pad. I don't know if I need this much knee space. So I may just cut like the top of this off, like right through here and then the bottom of it off. I don't know. Cause I want it to fit in my pack. I want, to, I want it to fit in a specific area in my pack. So let's go get my pack real quick. This little section right here, like that, that like your water bladder would go in. So yeah, I'm gonna measure that. I think it's nine inches. And this thing is 13 inches. So, what does that mean? I got four inches. I take two inches off on each side. Ah. Two inches off on each side. 
let's go cut this properly so it's nice and square. Something else I don't like about the knee pads is they're kind of bulky inside your packs and stuff. They take up a lot of room, whereas this, you can slip down you know, in the corners there or one of your little side pockets and it's not taking up a whole bunch of space. Um, this is probably overkill for cutting this, but I want it to be kind of, I want it to fit in there perfectly. So that's what I'm using, okay. Don't use this to cut foam, at least these heated seats. I also need to get back to building my uh, self bow for you guys sometime. Let's do this. Dude, everything I have is dull right now. And I think I'm just gonna cheat down here a little bit because my, my saw kind of screwed up my straight edge up there. That's gonna work good. Okay, one more thing I gotta do. Okay, just making sure it fits down this little pocket. Perfect, okay, so now the key to make this thing great, still strips. You know what, I don't know what camel pattern this is. I've never, I just had this stuff in my drawer. putting these stealth strips on here because I can kind of see this foam getting like all messed up on tree bark. Funny, uh, I don't know if it's funny, it's a story. Blue started Stealth Outdoors with a product called, I think it was called the Bark Silencer. Kind of what this is gonna be. Bringing back the Bark Silencer, Lou. Little tip. That works pretty good with the stealth strips if you gotta like cut holes in something like on like the bee sticks or something that has all the holes in it. You can use a wood burner, which is one of these little heat things or a soldering or a soldering iron or something like that gets real hot. That all cut. Now, what do I do with my strap for it? So I want the, I don't want, I don't want the string on the front because I feel like it just would get in my way. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be the, where I put my knees out on the pad. I'll just go through, through the hole here. Back through. This hole, perfect. Okay, and that will go around the tree. Let's go test it out. It's super windy out today, so the audio may be crap, but we gotta test it out, right? So I'm thinking how I, I'll, I will like wrap it up is just take it and just do this, right? Ah, dang it, let's see here. Take it, and then maybe if I go, hmm, like this around. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it, just like that. You can even just, there. Look how awesome that is. It's like something Latitude or whoever would come out with. All right, now let's go test it out. There you go. In my opinion, the perfect pad for your knees, your saddle hunt. I don't know if it's the perfect one, but it's the best I got at the moment. Just finishing editing this vlog, and I wanted to let you guys know that over on the Exodus Outdoor Gear YouTube channel, I was on Whitetail Cribs on Saturday. The link to that video is up here, and it's also in the description below. Go check that out if you're if you're interested in it. It's pretty cool. It's the reason that I didn't really want to film all my deer um, 
you guys have requested me to like tell stories about my deer, show my deer. I just I was like, ah, that's coming out. And I wanted that to be kind of a thing that you guys could go to and watch. See you tomorrow on another vlog.